so did I. Well, what was yours? Let dreamers often lie. <laughs> they sleep while they do dream things true. Oh, then I see Queen Mab have them with you. She is the fairy's midwife, and she comes in shape no bigger than an agate stone, and on the forefinger of an alderman, drawn with a team of little atomies over men's noses as they lie asleep. Her wagon spokes made of long spinner's legs, the cover of the wings of grasshoppers. Her traces of the smallest spider's web. Her colors of the moonshine's watery beams. Her whip of cricket's bone, the lash of filament. Her wagoner, a small, gray-coated gnat, not half so big as a round little worm, pricked from the lazy finger of a man. Her chariot is an empty hazelnut made by the joiner squirrel or old grub. Time out of mind, the fairy's coachmakers. And in this state, she gaps night by night through lovers' brains and then they dream of love uh, on courtiers' knees, the dream on Curtsy is straight, or a hey. lawyer's fingers who straight dream on fees, or a lady's lips who straight on kisses dream, which oft the angry mab with blisters plagues because their breath with sweetmeats tainted are. Sometimes she gallops o'er a courtier's nose, and then dreams he of smelling out a suit, and sometimes comes she with toothpick's tail tickling a parson's nose as Eliza sleep, and then he dreams of another benefice. Sometimes she drives o'er a shoulder's soldier's neck, <laughs> and then dreams he of cutting foreign throats of preachers, ambuscados, Spanish blades of health five fathom deep, and then anon drums in his ears, at which he starts and wakes, and being thus frighted, swears a prayer or two, and sleeps again. This is that very mab that plats the manes of horses in the night and breaks the elk locks in foul, sluttish hairs, which once untangled, much misfortune bodes. This is the hag when maids lie on their backs that press them and learn them first to bear, making them women of good courage. This is she. Oh, peace, peace, Mercutio. <laughs> peace. I've talked of nothing. I talked of dreams, which are the children of an idle brain begot 